always everyone doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and uh, by the way, this is Tony Look if you are first time here in my YouTube channel and thank you so much for dropping by here in my YouTube channel so today we will be doing another uh, reaction of uh, Agnes Mu who we will be doing about the part 2 because some of our friends out there uh, want to request another part 2 of the interview of Agnes Mu and from the previous uh, reaction, we did the reaction of part 1 uh, interview of uh, Agnes Mo at MCB Asia and we already know some of her uh, background, some of, of how did she started as a, as a singer or how did she uh, get that dream and uh, we all know that at that young age even both the Jack War which is wow, that was an amazing uh, experience of her and today we will be um, checking it out what are the things of uh, what are the things or what are the achievements of Ag uh, Agnes Mo? Yeah, what are the achievements that she has? Yeah, and uh, yeah, I hope you will join me again on this reaction video and uh, we'll check it out. Uh, what are the songs that she's been singing or who are the people she's been collaborated to? And we'll see how. Yeah, and I hope you will join me on this uh, reaction. By the age of 12 years old, I already had three albums wow. and did a lot of tours. I bought my first Jaguar when I was oh, 15 Jaguar. years old. <laughs> Timbaland came nice inside color. the room and it was magic. I actually had a whole album done. I had to cross everything out and you know, shit happened. Of course I got bashed. It was pretty rough. Yeah, bashing is always there. It's a part of our life. Anyway, <laughs> the road ride. Oh, the Agnes Moore ride. Part two. Yes. Becoming Agnes Moon. Say what you want, but I swear it don't matter. When I walk in the club, there ain't nobody better. I want it to be the mark of the new Agnes. Oh, That's the I reason see. why I made it all English album as well, just to kind of prepare my yeah, fans. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna hear something new, understand. or not even something English new, language, something real, something Agnes, really Agnes. Agnes Mo was like the first album that I actually got to say this is really me, at least that year. Yeah. Because I know that I'm that I'm evolving, but yeah, that was the mark. The she new, the new age of Agnes. <laughs> July 1st, 2011. I got and a phone call. Timlin was looking for me. I thought it was a joke because it was on my birthday, so I was waiting for her to like, ah, I'm joking. You know, she's no, no, it's it's real. They they ask if you actually wanted to work with him or not. Wow. And I was like, That's of course. So we finally just them, arranged some time, and I flew wow. out to Miami. I remember I was so, not like nervous, but more like excited. Kind of like disbelief too. I didn't know what to expect. And then all of a sudden, Timbaland yeah, came inside the room and man, it was... Really a big opportunity for her also to become a uh, international singer, which is to collaborate with Timbaland. And that was really amazing. Yeah, and that was a good experience as well. Or and someone is rooting for you and call you to join or to be uh, collaborated with that international singer, which is amazing as well. Man, it was How old magic. How then? Because after went that, it was York. like, oh, okay, you know, because Timbaland was like, I think the, the icebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> so he came into the studio and he said, what's up, Ag? And I was like, oh my God, what do I say? What's up, Tim? What's up, T? What's up, Timbaland? <laughs> and I was just like, hey, what's up, Tim? I try to be cool and all that. And my heart was like, dropped on the floor <laughs> and I was like oh my god wow. I'm so nervous and I was supposed to be there only for like three four days to wow. work on maybe two or three songs I got pulled aside Jay Timbaland Ford. was impressed and he wanted to produce the whole album it didn't really hit me until I was back at the hotel I sat down and I was alone and I was like what the heck just happened I did a lot of songs with Timbaland and also his team. We had a listening session where we just listened to all the songs that we've already done and we picked Cold Bottle. Wow. Cold Bottle, I think, during Timbaland. 
Cool. I'm a true believer wow. of you make your own destiny and you make your own opportunity, and that's what I did. I believed yeah, in the okay. record. Everybody okay. believed in the record in such a great vibe, you know, that the feeling was there. And I loved that song, so why not just put it out for, yeah. again, for the love of, okay, of music? Yeah, I know. I, I I kind of felt disappointed, to be honest, that the original version didn't come out. The dance version is going to come out first, and then after that, we're going to put out the original version. But before that happened, Cherry... It's so brave of her, and she was even, like, courageous, and it's, like, eager to learn and eager to collaborate with other people. And, of course, working with other people is not that easy, so you have to know them first before you are going to work with and they will, you will be comfortable working with them. So that was amazing experience of her and she did it well. <laughs>
bad bitch, you know, and just feeling good and feeling confident. Go with the angles. These are solid gold hoops, not bangles. We were like, you know what? I, yeah, French would be a great, great fit. He was an immigrant before too, so he knew, you know, the hustle. And and I love his story. So it kind of somehow we can connect through that life story. Oh, he actually had his chef cook us Moroccan dinner. So it was real like family vibe. And I love that. I love that. I love family vibe. Yes, of course. <laughs> Creating a legacy. When I look back at my ride, I think it's been really rocky, but it has a lot of teachable moments. I don't want to create fame. I don't want to create career. I want to create a legacy. Oh, I see. That's the end. So it's nice to know about that, uh, about the experience of Agnes Moen. It's also nice to know the background of Agnes Moen. That was really an amazing experience for her. And uh, yeah, what a lucky person of her. And at that young age, she even became a millionaire. Yeah, and she even bought her Jaguar, her with her own money, which is amazing also. And uh, yeah, people couldn't do that. You know? And that was really a big opportunity of her to collaborate with those uh, international singers. So it is, uh, yeah. and I'm so proud of her because she even she even have that uh, meticulous and she even uh, like sharing her own experience. So you could see that it's not really easy to work with different people, where you need to make sure you can work with them so that. The videos will make better, you know. And yeah, I really admire her as a person. Yeah, and she even turned all those negativity to positivity. Yeah, that, like the washers. Well, of course, we, we couldn't really avoid that washers because they are also a supporter sometimes, right? Yeah. So yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reaction video. And uh, uh, what do you think about this experience of Agnes? Just let me know in the comment section below and uh, yeah please don't forget to share like comment and uh, yeah subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel and i really appreciate that and uh, we'll see you again next time and i hope you are all doing good uh, despite of pandemic so much and terima kasih banyak-banyak and jumpa lagi and see you again next time and that's it